I'm not growing fast enough. If you're anything like the people I work with, you have probably thought that at one point or another. If you're like most struggling influencers, you often ask yourself why for the amount of time you are spending every single week, for the amount of things you are putting in front of your audience, why are you not growing faster? The reasons you are not growing as quickly as you would like is because you are spending all of your time creating content and you are creating content the way everyone else in the industry is creating content. You most likely aren't doing anything to stand out and stand up for the message that you believe in. If you want to create content, that stands out, you are going to have to take the time to create your content a little differently. In this video, I'm gonna show you three mistakes you may be making when you are posting and what to do about them. I'm Nicole Culver, I'm the founder and creator of The Serial Method, and I wanna break down exactly the three mistakes people are making with their content and what to do to fix it. The first mistake you may be making is not having an overarching content plan. Your content may be sporadic and it may be inconsistent. This not only leads to decreased reach, but your audience really don't, doesn't know what to expect from you. You may have noticed that the lack of a plan is actually keeping you stuck and frankly, it's keeping you obsessed with social media. If you are making this mistake, you may be consumed by what you're posting and when. You also may be spending the the majority of your week on social media wondering exactly what you should be posting to Instagram or stories for the week and the day. How are you going to generate more revenue in your business if you are spending all day on social media? Who is going to be doing the revenue producing activities in your business if you are on Instagram all day long? So if we start with step number one, it is about creating a consistent posting schedule with your people in mind, with your people at the center of everything that you create. I personally recommend and plan that you create 12 weeks of content at once, have it all planned and have it all scheduled out. This will save you so much time and it will save you so much brain power. Now, once you're planned and scheduled, you can concentrate on what brings you from hobby to a business, what brings you into those revenue generating activities, because your business doesn't actually start until you make the first dollar. This brings us to mistake number two. Before you get into planning your content, it is going to be super hard to do that if you don't understand your people's struggles on a deep level, if you don't understand the language that they use to describe exactly what they're going through and exactly what they're thinking on a day to day basis. If you are like most struggling influencers, you are creating generic content. Now, I know that that might sting a bit, but if I showed you a picture of oatmeal, would you be able to tell me where this oatmeal came from? If you're only posting pictures of oatmeal and there's no deeper meaning, there's no way for your people to see how you set yourself apart, if there's no deeper meaning to your content, if you're not solving problems and understanding your people, it is going to be harder to grow today. Think about the influencers that you follow. Think about the influencers that you go to that mean something to you. What are they posting? Are they uh, generating a response, an emotional response? Are they making you laugh? Are they making you cry from a picture that they've posted? Are they saying something that has made you laugh, that has really let you connect with them on a deeper level because you feel like they get you, like they understand you. Now, what we have to realize is that people want connection in this digital age. They actually want less highlight reels Unlike a few years ago, they want more real life. They want real pictures of you. They don't want the perfectly lighted, filtered version of you. They want real. So how can you get to know your people? 
how can you understand them? The best thing that you can do is just stop and look at the influencers you follow. Think about what they do to get you to feel. Think what they get you to do to show up and go back to their page or their channel or their feed every single day. And think about what values do they convey and what values do you want to convey to your audience. Other ways to find out more about your people is to simply talk to them. I know this might seem like a novel idea, but ask questions, pick up the phone, start conversations. The more you talk to your people, the more you show up for them, the more you serve them, the more it's going to build trust. And the more they trust you, the more they will share about what they are actually struggling with. After you figure out the values and after you figure out the message that you want to convey and you tap into your audience to get to know them better, that takes us to the next point. What is the point of getting to know your people's struggles better? Well, let's move on to the third mistake that you may be making. The third mistake is you don't get your people a transformation. Now, you may be thinking, what? How could I get my people a transformation? This is just my free content. You may hear the word transformation and you may want to run away, but this is your secret power in your content and this is the positioning that most do not have. You are not trying to solve everyone's biggest problems with your content, but you do want them to experience some change. This is like a level one transformation. The first thing they need solved or the first thing that they they need help with. And sometimes a transformation is just improving someone's mood. But this is the point of spending all this time getting to know and understand your people. You must understand their struggles so you can create a way to connect with them. You can create a way to have a solution to their problems that involves your unique magic. Yes, I said magic, but that is something we will talk about in another day or another video. So let's use an example. Let's say your audience is completely overwhelmed and they are overwhelmed moms and you've talked to them and their real pain point is getting dinner on the table after a long day of work and after a ton of activities after school. Your transformation is simply getting them out of the overwhelm through your 30 minute meal plan framework that you have developed. The purpose of your content should give them clarity. It should give them clarity around a problem they are having and showing them how to use your content content to get out of their struggle, to take like that first step out of the struggle. We don't need to solve all their mealtime problems, but we need to help them take that first step. After you hook them in with your clarifying transformational content, they will be ready to take the next step with you. This might be your paid for product, this may be a service, or some of you will monetize with a brand partnership. You can use the knowledge you have with your audience to pitch brands and partners if that is how you want to work with people and you have the knowledge of why your people need their product. By transforming your content and fixing these three mistakes that most struggling bloggers are making, you will quickly see how your content will shift. This is where modern influencers are born. So if you really want to start creating content that gets the growth, that gets the eyeballs that it deserves and connects you with your people on a deeper level, you really need to start with these three big mistakes. So if you want to learn how you can do this and you can learn the entire process, then go ahead and download my PDF that I have around this video. Click the link around the video, download our free handbook and go through that. And these will be the first steps that you need to take to transform your content. So click the link on this video and I will see you in your email with the PDF.